You guys ready? Bella needs to go outside. We're going to put her outside here in a second. All right, guys. I have chosen to make creamy. It is called creamy pork chop and potatoes. Oh, is it going to be good? Yes, you're going out. Hold on. Let mommy start the oven because you're going out. All right, guys. Let me... Will you stop it? <laughs> Come on, let's go outside. Let me go put her out so we can prepare all this. And then we need potatoes too. I wish she would lay down. She is such a butt. She is such a butt. All right, guys, we need potatoes too. So let's get us some potatoes. We have got to do the potatoes. We gotta cut some potatoes and we'll try to find some decent ones here so we don't have to cut so many up. So, we gotta slice some taters. Okay, that should be plenty. This is gonna be good, you guys. It takes two hours in the oven, so we're gonna get it in now. Um, hubby's bringing me home some tin foil because I need tin foil, but until the meantime, we're just gonna throw this on top of it. We gotta get it in the oven. We gotta get it in the oven. We ain't got no time, otherwise we're gonna be eating at seven o'clock tonight. Now this recipe, this is a creamy pork chop and potato. Um, this recipe calls for pork chops, potatoes, shush, Bella, two, let me go put her out. <laughs> her, come on, Bella. home all right guys this calls for back to what we were doing this calls for a can of evaporated milk we have it okay it calls for a can of cream of mushroom we have it all right so we're gonna fix all this up then it calls for the evaporated calls for water it calls for onion soup base one package of Lipton onion soup we don't have that, but we have Lipton onion mushroom. We're going to use this, okay? And then it calls for some salt and pepper, and so that's about it. So we're going to layer the potatoes on the bottom. We're going to slice them up, lay them on the bottom. Then we're going to put our pork chops on top, layer it right on top, nice and raw. And then we're going to, we're going to mix all this together in this bowl, and then we're going to pour it on top. We're going to put something on a tinfoil on it, pop it in the oven, Two hours, we got dinner. So let's try and see how this works. Okay, guys, I was feeling a little under the weather today, as you can tell. I did change, but I just put something else comfy on. <laughs> um, so this is what we're doing today. It's a quick one, fast one, but good one. So the first thing I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna cut my potatoes up, and then we'll make our, our, uh, our, our brew up, okay? Then we'll make the brew. Here's our pork chops we are going to use. Now it said we can do bone in or boneless. Hey Stephanie, hey Melissa. I also have this little filter on just to make me look a little better than what I look. <laughs> yes, Amanda, absolutely. I've gotta keep going guys, even if I feel underneath the weather, I have to keep going. Just like you guys gotta keep going to work, I gotta keep getting on this camera. So let's get it. Veggies. Uh, well, we'll have our potato. You know, I never even thought about that, but we can make some, um, I got, you know, corn would probably go good with it. I got some green beans we can make. Um, let me think, guys. Because it's a creamy pork chop. I think it's going to be really good. Really good. All right, let me go ahead and get a bag out. Really good. It's going to be quick to put in the oven. I was sitting there looking at recipes, and I'm like, you know what? That is a recipe that I am going to do. And I think I'm going to start doing this instead of opening and closing my trash can a million times. I think I'm going to start. I have a million of these bags, you guys. I have a million. If I sit and count, I bet you I have a lot. The whole one underneath that cabinet is filled. So I think I'm going to start doing this before each of my cooking lives. So then it's easier on me. Yes. All right, let's get our potatoes. So how's everybody?
everybody's day going. Oh, before, oh, I want my drink. Let me hurry up and make a drink. Oh, we gotta have a drink. That's my routine. We can't mess up the routine, you guys. I saved this time for right now. And I want one today. Yesterday I wasn't feeling it. Today I'm feeling it. So bear with me, guys, and we'll get her going. Well, get her going. Please spam them hearts, you guys. Let's get everybody up in here because it really is not going to take me but probably 20 minutes to put all this together. And then after it is done, I will jump back on and let you guys see it. Okay? And oh my gosh. Let me show you yesterday's dessert. Last night's dessert. I got on live real quick. You guys, I get so excited when I come live with you guys. It's like I can't show you enough, okay? Thank you, Mary. Look at you guys. Now, the only thing I would do different is, like I said, the crust needed more butter. But, oh, my God, the, the orange and the, oh, it was perfect. Perfect. I'm going to eat this until I can't eat no more of it. <laughs> okay, guys? It smells just like the popsicle. Just like the popsicle. But I had to show you guys that. Oh, was it good. My family will probably eat some tonight, I'm sure. It was really good, you guys. So, that's a plus. That's a plus to do. All right, let me get this going right now. Strength. So I hope everybody's had an awesome day. Who's all cooking? What you guys cooking? Linda, I got them recipes. Joyce, I got that recipe you sent. Thank you so much, ladies. It's easier when you guys send me the recipes. It really is. All right, now we're back to where we're supposed to be. I'm gonna try this. It sounds yummy. I think it's less than, yep. You know what, frozen peas? I got frozen vegetables. Maybe we'll add some. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Hey girl, how are you everyone? Yes, I'm doing great, sweetie. How are you? That spit right back at me, you guys. Oh, that spit right back at me. I'm so glad I had that filter on. I think it actually went out my nose. <laughs> I'm actually very glad I had that filter on. All right, guys, you know that I never like to peel my potatoes. And guys, this recipe calls for peeled potatoes. So I'm gonna do what the recipe calls for. So let me get my peeler out. Where's she at, where's she at? All right, let's get her going. All right, guys, and we're gonna wash our potato. You know what, let's do it just like this. All right, guys, and we're gonna wash the potatoes, so. I hate using this thing. I just have a bad experience with one of these. I hate using it. That's why ever since I started with the no peel potato, I loved it because I hate using this. I accidentally shaved one of my fingers before, you guys, and I hate using it. I'm very scared of it. As you can tell, boy, this potato's bruised all heck. Oh, I hate using this thing. stuff up in. We'll get another bowl. We're trying not to make a mess, you guys. I'm really trying. Really, this is all you gotta do, guys, is peel the potatoes, 
Um, make your mixture that you're going to pour over the potatoes and the pork chops, your brew, and that's it. Put it in the oven. Then it says, it says it needs to cook two and a half hours, but a half an hour before it's done, you want to take the tin foil off or the lid so it can brown. And think about it, the evaporated milk and the creamy um, soup is what's going to make it, you guys. That is exactly what's going to make it. Let me see what you guys are saying to me. So sorry. Hello, hello, Lisa. Hello, everybody. Let me see if I can get you a little bit closer. There we go. So you got, whoops, there's a peel on the floor. Where's Bella? You guys, Bella was talking so much today. Oh my God, she was like talking to a human today. Really? I'm serious. It was a little crazy. It was like, oh my gosh, Bella. She's a little, she's smart. She's very smart for her britches. She's a smart one. But I've made her like that, guys. Talking to her has made her very smart. Let me see what you guys are saying to me. I use a knife to peel potatoes. I don't like those. Yes, maybe. No, see, a knife I don't do so good either because my hands have arthritis. Guys, it's rough getting old. We got this. I hate using this sucker. I want to find me a peeler that I just set the potato in and it peels it. I know they got to have one. I'm going to find it. I know, you know what? They got them apple peelers. I bet you could put a potato in there and peel it. I bet you could. Oh, I hate these little things. Come on, let's hurry up and get this done. See what I do for you guys? I do the correct. The correct, uh, yeah, and I know I'm dropping it everywhere, but I do the correct, uh, the correctness, but we need more potatoes. I can tell you that right now. I can tell you that right now. We need more potatoes. All right, let me grab two more. I'm gonna grab two more. Come here, taters. Come here, taters. Come on, give me a big one now. Let me shake with my hand. Yes. All right. I feel like my nose is just running 100 miles an hour, you guys. I don't get it. I don't get it. We already got the oven on, you guys. You guys, we're doing pretty good with this. With the, oh, I don't want to jinx myself. I still got a potato to go. Let's not jinx myself. I got a message from the other day. I was looking at my messages and Cindy too, Cindy too, her daughter messaged me. Her name came up and I about just died when I seen it. I was like, oh my God, Cindy. But then I took me a, it took me a minute to go, she's not here with us, Janice. It must be her family member. It was just, I had to share that with you guys. Cindy, I, we lost Cindy a couple months ago, you guys. It was one of my followers. Beautiful person, inside and out. I just wish I would have took her a little bit more serious when she told me she had congested heart failure. I just wish I would have. I wish I would have took it more serious, and I wish she would have texted me more. I wish she would have. But I know she probably didn't want to worry me. All right, guys. Let's clean up our mess and let's cut our potatoes. And then Tim, Booz and Tim. So I say, guys, I get very close to people on here. I really do. But, you know, I guess that's the name of the game, right? All right, let's rinse our potatoes. says. Set them right there. Wipe that up. Let's go ahead and get the 
Sorry guys for the noise. What's for dinner? We are doing a creamy, we are doing a creamy pork chop and potato. Creamy pork chop and potato, Miss Courtney. Hey Trudy, hey Marcy, hi all my lovely ladies. All right, so now I can pay more attention to you guys. Let's get our knife and let's get her. Let's get her done. All right, guys, so this recipe calls for, you gotta, we gotta cut the potatoes just like this, very carefully, very carefully. We don't wanna have another accident. Oh, come on, potatoes, stay right there. Stay right there. All right, so there's them. Might have to cut some more, you guys. What the heck? Continue doing everything else around your house. This is what you want to make. This is what you want to, whoa. This is what you want to make. I must be using the wrong knife, you guys. What am I doing wrong here? Why does it feel like I'm not using the right knife to cut stuff? All right, let me see what you guys are saying to me. Helen, I'm doing amazing, sweetheart. I'm just trying to keep going and keep getting it. I'm just a little under the weather. Hi, Linda. Just under the weather, you guys. So we're gonna make a creamy pork chop and potato. We're gonna be using cream of mushroom soup. We're gonna be using Lipton onion or Lipton mushroom, um, the package for seasoning. We're gonna be using um, evaporated milk. Yeah, yes. We're doing all that, ladies. And we're being very careful cutting this potato up because um, I've already cut my finger once and I don't want to do it again. Okay? So we're just being very careful. I might have to cut some more potatoes. So what are you guys cooking? Hubby's on the way home. I told him to bring me some tin foil, but until then, why do I feel like I'm cutting these potatoes wrong? Come on, guys, tell me if I am. I just feel like it's not the right way. You guys are probably like, that's the way I cut them. Maybe I need to cut them down and then so they're not so round and wobbly. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Do, do, are we getting it the safe way I know how? Just a country girl cooking. All right. All right, guys, we're gonna see how many times we could drop something on the floor and pick it up. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> Look fine to me. Cubes. No, it calls for them um, nice and flat, like disc. I'm going right by the recipe, guys, right by the recipe. Let me show you guys, let me show you. I'm gonna show you a picture real quick. This is what we're doing, you guys. Let me see if I can unplug me for a minute. You see what I'm doing? It calls for cute, like you, the flat, then you lay the pork chops, and then we mix it all together, and that's what it looks like when it's done. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, yes. All right, so, since all of my other dishes are used, being used, my pans, we are gonna use this one. Now, I am gonna spray the bottom just so my potatoes do not stick. I'm just gonna spray it with um, just some pan, or yeah, just some pan, I guess. Just something, you know. Can you put post? Yes, I will, you guys, and I gotta post the recipe from last night's dessert. Yes, I will. All right, guys, so I'm gonna spray my pan just so it's, usually I use perch paper and stuff like that because I don't like to scrub dishes. All right, let me rinse my fingers one more time. All right, guys, let's lay these out. Let me see if, make sure you guys are watching what I'm doing here. I gotta lay these out and see if we got enough or if I need to make some more. You know what I'm saying? Let's see how many potatoes we got. Cause this is a, we got four pork chops. So I wanted to make sure I made enough potatoes on the bottom. And if we gotta make some more, so be it. So be it. Cause we got enough taters. We got enough taters. All right. 
Aha, uh -huh, we're getting smart. All right, I think I need one more tater. I think I need one more tater. One more tater, everybody. One more tater, okay? We need one more tater. And, and this pan is very old, guys, but it is what it is. I love my dishes. They just need a little SOS taken to them. All right, here we go. Where's my... All right, guys, you get one more tater. I don't know if you guys can see me. Let me get you back over here to me. All right, one more tater. One more tater, baby. Come on, get off there. Maybe when I make all this money, you guys, I can make, I can buy me a whole new set of dishes. There we go. There we go. That's a dream. I do got a nice set of pots and pans, though. And I do got a nice set of um, spatulas, I must say. But I'm talking about mixing bowls, you know, things like that. Because, man, that stuff's expensive, you guys. It really is. I got a lot of my mom's hand-me-downs, and you know what? Hand-me-downs are good to me. I'd rather have a hand-me-down than nothing. So, Janice is not picky, everybody. Janice is not picky. By far. All right, let's throw that in there and let's clean our mess back up. Yes, it's not picky. If that's one thing I've learned from my mom is to never be picky. Because if you're picky in life, it's going to be a hard life. Now, if you got the money to be picky, be picky. Okay? I must say. But if you don't got the money to be picky, don't be picky. All right, let's cut this tater up. <sighs> All right, guys, sorry. I, I, Jan, who is watching? Hi, Jan. Hey, Marie. Hey, Judy. I want to scroll and talk to you guys so bad. All right, here we go. Let's get this other one cut. Because like I said, this takes two hours in the oven. I want to get this in. I want to eat tonight, not tomorrow. Just one more potato is going to make a big difference. All right, there we go. All right, guys, there's our potatoes. That's plenty for my family. All right, so there we go. We don't need this no more. Okay, I'm just going to wash this like that until later. All right, guys. All right, so now we've got to mix all this goodies together. First, let's get our pork chops in. Then we gotta mix all that together. So we need a bowl. Let's grab a bowl. Let's move this to the side for a minute. Are we ready? Now this is where you get to cooking it. Am I supposed to rinse what? The potatoes? I always rinse my potatoes. And I'll rinse the meat, if that's what you're asking, honey. Okay, 38 into house, welcome. Yes, hey, kicking it with Janice. Hi, Judy. So yes, I will rinse my meat. I do rinse the potatoes, if that's what you're asking. I mean, I just do it because my hands are touching them and plus with the starch. And yes, I'm gonna rinse my meat. Let's get this cold water going, because that's just how I am. So let's rinse. I'm going to it over this bowl right here. Put it right in, just like it says. Okay, now it says you can make this recipe bone in or boneless. So we're doing bone in, you guys. Bone in, obviously, as you can see. Some people don't rinse their meat. I do. That's just because you never know if the butcher dropped it on the floor or what. You don't know. All right, there we go. There's that. Okay, guys, we're almost there. We're almost ready to put it in the oven. All right. 
So simple. This, this is so easy to do. All right. I always rinse off my chicken. Yes, chicken's a big must. Now, I really rinse the chicken. I always rinse meat. Yes, I always do it too, guys, because you never know. I mean, they could have dropped that and picked it up and... So, I mean, now some stuff like hamburger meat, obviously you can't, I don't rinse that. Um, stuff like that, I don't rinse. All right, guys, let's do this. All right, so I'm doing everything it says to do. Now let's do, now it's calling for two 10 ounce cans of condensed cream of mushroom. I don't think I need all that, but we're gonna give it all it says. We're gonna give it all it says. All right. Two 10 ounce cans, okay. So here we go. Let me get something to mix that. Or right, take this out. It's not coming out by itself. I should have known. I should have known. All right. All right, guys. I have that will stick in there. Yeah. All right. So here's our cream of mushroom soup. You know what, guys? Now, every time I go to the store, I'm constantly grabbing cream of mushroom stew, chicken of the chicken, the celery. I'm grabbing all that because you guys, you cook with this. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Marcy. I'm from Arkansas. Well, hi. I need to get some new recipes. Yes, Miss Courtney. Yes. Anytime you guys go, I'm going to have to wipe my counter off right here, I see, or my cabinet. That was a bad idea. Um, as soon as you go to the grocery stores, every time I go, I pick up cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, cream of celery, because look what you can do in a pinch. You know, if you got to get something else done before hubby gets home and you want to throw this in and, and then, you know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying. All right. So we got the condensed, we got one ounce of can evaporated, got that 12 ounces right here, but boom, bada bang. Baby, I love you. I love you. Please, guys, let's share, share, share. Sprinkle me out. Tell all your girlfriends about me. Tell them, tell them, tell them. I got cream of broccoli and cream of bacon. Ooh, that sounds good. Janice, I have great news. What's the news, Nicole? Tell me. I'm going to try to see it. Hold on. What's the news, sweetie? All right. If anyone is new, please follow and like. Thank you, Courtney. We're all the ladies from Janice Loves to Know. Yes. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I'm waiting, Nicole. Let's hear it. And as you guys notice that we are all family in here, I have admins on that when I don't see you guys comment, what the heck, they try to answer because, you know, we try to answer everybody. Now, if you're getting filtered out, there's nothing we can do. All right, now, what's going on here? Hold on. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Come on. Oh, dear. All right, Nicole, I'm coming. What's the news? I have great news. Amazing got all of them. Amazon got all of them. Peggy, I have great news. We're London. Absolutely, Miss Charlotte. Miss Charlotte, I'm going to look. I guess my address isn't coming up on my wish list. So I've got to check that, admins. Let's see. Your meal sounds a little good. I wish I could join you. Yes, Kathy. Yes. All right, we're waiting. All right, so there's that. We're going to add that. Now I need three fourth cups of milk. Let's go ahead and get our three fourth cups of um, water, I mean. Where's my three fourth cups of water, baby? You guys know how I cook. I get everything ready and then I do. All right, three fourth cups. There she is. All right. Then it says we need one package of Lipton onion soup, a little over two teaspoons. So just use that if you would rather not have a package open. I buy mine in bulk so it's easier to measure. Okay, so we need a little bit of this. I'm going to use, it says to use onion soup. One package of, of Lipton onion soup. This, I don't have Lipton onion soup, but I have Lipton onion mushroom. So we're gonna use this, okay? That's my last one that I have, you guys. I think, 
Let me see. Maybe I might have. Hold on, Janice. thought I had a half a one that I only use, but I'm going to go ahead and just, no, that's the ranch. Okay. We're going to go ahead and use this. It might be the bomb. It might be the bomb. All right. Next year in October, I will be done with cancer. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely great news. Yes, honey. I'm so happy for you. All right. Now, this is telling me to use Three teaspoons or two, where's my, there it is. Let's see, two, half a teaspoon, one fourth, one teaspoon right here. So it's telling me to use three teaspoons, so that's what we're gonna do. One, two, whoops, three. And that's like a half a pack. It's a half a pack, okay? Just for everybody's wondering, it's a half a pack. All right, so salt and pepper, we'll do that at the end. Let's start mixing our stuff. All right, so we're just going to mix all this together, it says. I'm going to mix the water here in a minute. I don't want it to be spatting everywhere, you know. I do have a, hold on, let me get a whisk. Let me get a whisk. Let me get a whisk. Let's whisk. Let's whisk this. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to show you guys after it's done because I know this is gonna smell amazing and oh, it's gonna taste amazing. All right, guys, we're gonna pour our water in. There we go. Now we're gonna pour this right over the potatoes. But first things first, we're gonna do some pepper in this. I think it says, oh, pepper and salt. They, well, it's a lot, so let's go back to a little bit more pepper. Okay. All right, guys, do you see this? It's getting nice and creamy. Okay. Oh, it smells amazing. Washing and saying a prayer for my complete recovery. Yes. Absolutely, you guys. My mom is still in, 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 um, what is that where they um, are in, um, shoot, I can't thank you guys. Um, oh, it's nice and thick. Um, remission, remission for her throat cancer. So let's keep praying for that. All right, guys, let's pour this on top of here. Now I want you guys to see all this because this is the main shebang. All right, here we go, ladies. chops it up a little bit high, which is fine. Just want to make sure our potatoes are covered. And we want to make sure the potatoes or the pork chops are covered too. All right. Now I will tell you guys how this is as soon as, now it says, uh, did you place the bottom? I did that, did that, mix together everything, pour it on top, did that. All right, so now, no, 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 no. I'm trying to get the degrees, guys. Okay, where is the temperature for the oven? Hold on, guys. Temperature for the oven. I don't see the temperature for the oven. It's got to be in this writing. Okay, right there. All right, I use eight pork chops, 275 for five. We don't want to do four hours, so we want... 375, 325, 325 it says, but we're going to do 350 because I'm a rebel, okay? Now, since I don't have no tin foil at the moment, as soon as hubby gets home, I'll probably take it out and put tin foil on it, but right now, we're going to put it in just like this, and then the country way of living, I'm going to set this right on top of that, like that, you guys. I'm telling you guys, you got to do what you can do, so that's how we're going to cook it. For an hour and a half. It's 
timer. Power and 20, start. All right, guys. That's what we're doing in the kitchen today. Now, tonight we might make something. Janice, you mentioned that you have arthritis in your hands. If you don't mind me asking, what do you take? I don't take anything. I take ibuprofen. I take ibuprofen. <laughs> I take ibuprofen. I can't take anything with like codeine. It makes me itch. It makes me itch bad, you guys. Well, I will itch my skin right off of me. They had me on codeine one time, you guys, and I had to sit there and I had to take lotion all night long and rub it on my body because if I didn't, I was itching. It was awful. It's a side effect. Great way to cover that. Love it. <laughs> Hey, you got to do what you got to do, guys. I'm, I, there's no shame in my game, okay, guys? I am me. I This is me. I don't get on here. I don't try to sugarcoat nothing. I don't try to get on here and pretend that I'm somebody I'm not. Um, I get on here and I show you how, how I truly am. And by God, I would love to, to live just where I don't worry no more. And that's why I work my butt off every single day, every day. And I so appreciate every one of you guys watching my videos. I so appreciate it. I think that's why sometimes I try to be really funny in my videos because I want you guys to laugh and have a good time. Because that's what it's about to me. Okay, guys? Life's too serious. Sorry, guys, I'm in my relaxing pants today. So sorry, my relaxing outfit. But yes, you guys, I will definitely post this recipe. And you know what? I'm going to post it right now. I am going to post it right now because it says I can share it right here, right now. So hold on, guys. I want to post it right now. Saving it. And I'm doing it right now. Facebook. All righty. Well, I saved it, so now i got to find it again to post it. God, I'm hot. What is the deal? The heat needs to go off. Walter used for cooking utensils that you're in a... Wait, wait. Honestly, Julie, her... Walter used her cooking utensils so you're in good company. <laughs> I say amen for covering that way. Yeah, absolutely. Me too, sweetie. Whatever works. Absolutely. Until I'm able to buy... All of the stuff that I need for cooking. Because, guys, I didn't do cooking lives, okay? I didn't. I, I cooked all the basic food. So, you know, normally I have tin foil, But I use it so dang much now that I run out of it like um, we run out of toilet paper. You look cute in your relaxing outfit. <laughs> I was debating on if I should come on or if I... But I got to keep going, you guys. I just got to keep going. I got to keep going. Tonight for dessert, I'm going to come on and make my smoothie, okay? Because we have all that dessert that we made last night, so I don't want to waste a bunch of food. So tonight, I'm going to find my blender, and then tonight we will come on and we'll make the smoothie. I got frozen peaches, frozen pineapple, frozen strawberry, Greek yogurt. I got almond milk. Um, so yeah, we'll make a good, and I got ice if we need ice. So we'll make a good smoothie tonight for dessert for everybody. And I got spinach. I'm trying. I'm trying, you guys. I'm really trying to make you guys proud of me. Everybody told me to keep going with cooking because cooking is the way it's going for me. So it's like, I think that's the way it's going to go. Oh, Bella's still outside. Let's go get Bella really quick. Hold on, guys. Oh, my baby. Hold on, baby. bathroom window you guys trying to get my attention don't look at me like that I'm sorry I got carried away in my life it's not cold out there anyways have you Susie I want to start making them you guys because it's really good for you and you know with my husband having a pacemaker and me having COPD 
I just want to get healthy, you guys. I want to try to stay as healthy as I can and just keep cooking and keep gaining the weight because, guys, I need to gain the weight. We're going to wash my board. I need to gain the weight. Thank you, Jordan. Hubby's home. Perfect timing. So now, see, I can spend time with Hubby. I did my cooking live. Perfect. So, guys, I'm going to go, and I'm, I'm working on, I'm marketing my YouTube channel at the moment. So, just a working machine lately. So, guys, if you could, just watch my replays. If you guys want to join the supporter group, it's $4.99. We play bingo once a month. We do a drawing once a month. Um, if you win, you it's shipping and everything is included. Um, the stars, if you send stars on the replay, you get put into the end of, at the end of the month, you get put into a drawing. Um, yeah. And that's about it. But, guys, I'm going to come back on tonight. It's what? Five, six, seven. I'll be back on at seven to check the food, and then maybe we'll make the smoothie then. Okay, guys? Because I never eat when the food's done. So, thank you, Jordan. Thank you, sweetheart. But, guys, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later, okay? I'll see you guys about 7, 7.30 for smoothies. And then you guys can see my, din my dinner, too. Bye, guys. Have a great night. We are still debating. Have a great night, and I'll let you know, Mary. Have a great night.